you know, when I was five years old, I took a bunch of dinosaurs uh, that I had toys of, and I put them together in this little scenery with pine trees and flowers I picked out of the yard. And then I had my mom run a video camera and I talked about the dinosaurs and kind of their natural environment and what they want in terms of habitat, food, resources. And I made this four minute documentary as a five year old on dinosaurs based off of the toys and the things I had learned being a little nerd, to be honest with you. 24 years later, I took on the project that you guys know as Captain Coleslaw Outdoors in order to bring my students in the classroom an educational perspective on our natural world through the one passion that I developed, which really defines who I am as a human being, which is being an outdoorsman, a hunter, a fisherman, a forager, these things have given me so much purpose, have allowed me to learn so much about the world that I live in, and have really given me a platform to become a professional as I have in the field of education. My first job was as an environmental science teacher. I have my master's in environmental education as of this winter. And the Captain Coleslaw experience, which document everything under the sun, in Pennsylvania that I could possibly bring you as a working college student has allowed me to bring you all those things that I've learned through the years and explain them based off of the content of an environmental science high school curriculum that is standard in the state of Pennsylvania. Now given that this year has had some interesting circumstances, this has been a year for educational innovation. I wanted to be able to bring you guys hunting, fishing, foraging. I wanted to show you the process of learning about your environment, tracking, learning how to exploit some of the consumptive resources that the natural world here in Pennsylvania has to offer, while tying it back to things that you have to learn in the classroom. This has given me a way to teach environmental science and biology in a way that is not just by the book. It's a way that has value to me and hopefully, based off of the cool experiences, the hunts, the friendship, the fellowship, and the knowledge that you've acquired, you have enjoyed your educational experience a little bit more than the average bear might have enjoyed theirs during this really strange year of education. Now, many of you guys know that the Captain Coleslaw experience that you know has concluded. 365 days of work. You've seen it all. I've given you everything I could possibly record with minimal equipment, no funding, a full-time job and a marriage, and a master's degree on top of it. So I guess the question that you might have is what's next? Where are we heading? What are we gonna be seeing on the channel in the long run? Should you be watching? Is something exciting new happening? What's gonna happen next? And my answer for that? kind of like the experiences which have unfolded on the Slav vlog, I have no idea. All I know is every experience that I've been able to bring you on this channel has been a combination of several things. One, environmental knowledge, hence the things I'm trying to teach you guys about our world and where we live. Two, commitment and perseverance to spending time outdoors and trying to capture these experiences and then three luck maybe it's blessings maybe it's luck whatever you want to call it there is something about this year amongst all the hardships that we've had to endure as a population i have somehow come out very lucky but what's going to happen next is not clear yet but there's one thing for certain the same entities which have brought me archery hunts, wild turkeys, geese, fish, and mushrooms for you to watch are going to be the same entities which define the next chapter of Captain Coleslaw Outdoors, which is educational knowledge, perseverance, and commitment, and, of course, a little bit of luck. I appreciate everyone on this channel. 
who is committed to helping make Captain Coleslaw Outdoors a success. Whether it be the guys featured in the videos, you guys watching these videos, my co-educators at the Kiski School in Salzburg, Pennsylvania, and Slippery Rock University with my master's degree. You guys have brought me purpose to who I am personally and professionally in a way that I would never have imagined. So I owe everything to you guys for helping, keeping me motivated to make Captain Coleslaw Outdoors a reality for you. Well, I'm gonna head out here into the woods. Who knows what's ahead? But until then, shoot straight and stay strong. And for now, that's it. Thank you for tuning in to this episode of Captain Coleslaw Outdoors. I'll see you on the next one.